Hello, everyone. It is Leanne tuning in for the video on breathing part two. So first, I just want to invite you into the space, get comfortable. Um, so I'm sitting down on the ground today. I'm sitting on just like a cushion. Um, I know that sitting on the ground isn't always comfortable. So you could always sit on a piece of furniture, um, on your bed, on a chair. Um, so take a moment and just kind of figure out um, how you feel the best in a seated posture, right? And when we're working on our breathing, you know, our comfort is really important. So maybe like your back doesn't feel good today or you're tired. Um, if you don't feel comfortable seated, you can always lay down, right? So lying down is also um, welcome, especially for the first part. Once we start to move a little bit, you may have to adjust. So thank you for being here. I wanted to say um, first a little bit about breathing and what I teach. So, you know, I mainly teach yoga. I teach mindfulness. I teach meditation and wellness through different means. Um, and this practice that we're going to do tonight is mainly drawn from the yoga tradition. And in yoga, breathing is a really, really big deal Like in our lives, right? Just being able to breathe is a really big deal, right? And it connects us with this feeling or this sense of purpose in being alive in our physical bodies, right? Which is really special. Um, the word in yoga for breathing is the word pranayama. So it's one long word, pranayama. And prana, the word means life or life force energy. And the word yama means to extend. So Pranayama really means to extend life force. So to kind of increase um, a feeling of aliveness and vitality. So um, I also wanted to say, because I actually didn't know this um, until years after I started practicing yoga, um, where the lungs are like located in the body. So our lungs um, are an organ and they are sort of our main a mechanism for breathing in the body, right? Um, we have like the diaphragm too, right? But the lungs, we always think about, right? All the air going into the lungs and leaving the lungs, right? And while you're doing this practice, um, I invite you to think about this idea that the lungs situate more on your back body than towards your front body, right? So your lungs are more back here than they are up here in the front. And uh, when I found that out, it like blew my mind. I was like, what? Um, it's just interesting to know like where things are positioned in your body when you're working on a practice, right? Okay, so we'll go ahead um, with those little bits of information and get started with our practice. So welcome to breathing part two, and we'll begin with some movement. So if you were laying down that whole time, um, you can try to do these movements really in any position. So you could kind of modify and stay on your back or you could find a seat, okay? We're gonna start with some arm movements because the way we feel in our shoulders um, really affects our breathing, okay? So again, all bodies are different and all bodies are welcome. So your body may not move like mine or someone else in your family or household. Um, but just know that all of that is welcome and okay. You're just going to move in a way that feels good to you. All right. Start by just letting your arms like come down where they're just like relaxing down and then see if you can stretch your arms forward and then notice if they can go up over your head and if they can't, that's okay. Stretch and lengthen your back and then inhale. Exhale, slowly bring your arms back down all the way by your sides. Good. You're going to keep doing that. So breathe in. Lift your arms up over your head. Good. And then exhale your arms back down. And then I might be going too slow or too fast for your rhythm. So you can just go at your own pace. Go at your own rhythm. Good. Exhale down. Good. And so breathing in, feel the air come in through your nose letting the wind come in, and then exhale the breath out, starting to warm your shoulders. You might even feel your shoulders getting like tired, right? Like when are we gonna stop doing this? Good, let's do one more. The next time your arms come down, 
Just relax your arms by your sides. Pause for a moment. Good. And then take your shoulders and move them forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. Good. Just rolling your shoulders. And so in the tradition that I teach, the breath is really important and powerful, right? So um, the idea is that we can use our breath to heal our body and our mind. So we'll investigate this today. We'll see how this um, fits and relax your shoulders down. Good. Um, if you're seated some way and you don't feel comfortable, change your seat. So always notice that. Now we're going to work on our neck a little bit. Okay. So first start by just lengthening your back. Okay, and then you don't have to like force or strain, just lengthen your back. Good. And then from here, let your head go slowly forward and down. And just notice how that feels for a few breaths. So as you're letting your head come forward, just notice your inhalation and notice your exhalation. Good. Keep yourself right here if you can. And then Inhale, start to roll your head over to one side. So you'll kind of bring the ear towards the shoulder. Good. And then let your head go back, forward, and down slowly. And then let your head roll slowly the other way. And then forward and down. And then just keep this rhythm going nice and slow, moving your head side to side. And you can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. You can add movement if there's movement you want to do that we're not doing. Good. And then even it out. So kind of even out, balance out your effort here. And then when you're ready, let your head go forward and down. And then lift your head up. Okay, if you're seated in a cross leg position like me, take a moment here and you're gonna switch your legs. And if you don't do that often, it'll feel like really weird. It'll be like, ah, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, nice. Again, check in with your seated posture. Make sure that you feel comfortable in your seat. Okay, this is called arm across. So stretch your arms out if you have room to do so. You can always bend your elbows if you're in a little room or you're with lots of friends. From here, take one arm across, take your other hand and grab the arm and pull it across. Good. And then take a few breaths here. And if it feels good, you could stay still with your body or you could like rock like a sailboat side to side, whatever feels good to you. Nice. Let's switch sides. So stretch your arms out, reach, take arm across. So you're going to bring that other arm across the body and pull it across gently. Good, again, you could stay completely still here or you might move around. Good, all right, now from here, see if you can come back to that position of reaching up overhead. Good, and then you're gonna turn one way and let your arms come down. Now your arms could go wherever they just kind of land naturally. Okay, again, it doesn't have to look um, the way that I'm doing it. All right, just sitting up nice and tall and noticing your breath. So all of the postures that we're doing here, um, if you ever feel like it's difficult to take a deep breath, um, if you um, feel like you need more space for breathing, all of these postures are good to open up the chest and the lungs. Good, and then start to come back around, bring the hands together for balance. And then if you can and it's comfortable, reach up again, stretch your spine nice and long, making some room, and then turn the other way. Good, again, so you know where your arms land is totally fine. If you're in a chair, you'll just turn your spine one way in the chair and let your arms be like just wherever they're comfortable. Okay, no need to force or strain. Take a moment here and notice your breathing. So usually when we twist our spine like this, it makes it harder to breathe while we're in the pose. So it can feel kind of like, ah, 
But then when we come out, there's a little more room, right? And then when you're ready from here, come back around. Nice. All right. So from here, another important thing for our breath is that we stand up sometimes, right? So all of us are sitting more than we ever have with everything being virtual and school online and all of this. So come up to a standing position. So this is called standing mountain pose. In yoga, just standing on your own two feet is called mountain. Good. So take a moment and just stand up. Just be in a standing position. And then we're going to do the same thing we did in a seated posture, but a little bit different. So you're going to take one arm, take it forward and up. And then you're going to see if you can switch your arms. It's, so it's like you're doing the same movement, but not, right? Your arms have to go um, in opposite time. Okay. And just keep moving this way for a moment. This also is a coordination exercise. So if your body is like, oh, I can't do this, then that's actually normal. It, it takes a minute to be like, wait, how do I figure this out? Take a couple more like this. Good. And then we're going to make it a little more interesting. So first, let your arms meet down by your sides. Good. And then wait for your inhalation. So breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, your arms go out and up, reach overhead. Exhale, wide and down. Good. Like a butterfly. Now, keep going like this. I'm going to give you an option to do it how we were doing it before, kind of like the weird way. So first, just let your arms keep going up and down, up and down. Good. And then you're going to see if you can make it a little bit weird, reach your arms up, and then just lower one arm wide and down. And then you're going to take the arms opposite, just like we did, when we were going forward and up, but now we're going sideways and up. I know, my shoulders are feeling more. It's really warm um, where I live. It's 80 degrees outside. It's 74 degrees in my house. <laughs> so my shoulders are warm. Good. All right, and then let your arms meet down by your sides. Shake it out a little bit. Good. Now we're going to come into a movement called sun breath. So bring your hands together and inhale your arms up. Exhale your arms wide and down. Inhale your arms up. And open your arms. So again, my breath rhythm and yours are not the same, most likely. So you're going to pair this, time this with your own breath, right? So you're going to see if as you do this movement, you can inhale as your arms lift and then exhale like you're clearing space around you, like a little spring cleaning with those arms. And if you're not watching this in spring, just some whatever season cleaning. Okay. <laughs> Hands to your heart. Good. And let's switch. So inhale down, out, and up. Exhale, hands come through the middle. Nice. Inhale, down, out, up, and through the middle. Okay, keep going just for a few breaths. Okay, and then release your arms down by your side and pause. You might be feeling some sensation in your upper back or your shoulders, just let that move. All right, now in this next one, if you are standing, take your feet a little wider and bend your knees. Make sure to do that bending the knees part. If you're in a chair, you're just gonna bend your knees, feet flat on the ground. So like if you have your legs crossed, uncross your legs and place your feet flat, have a little space between your legs, just like the standing folks, okay? Now, take it slow. You're going to start to curl your chin to your chest, and wherever you are, knees bent, fold forward and down. And, you know, you might be more like this, where you're just a little bit still upright. 
If you are feeling more flexible today, you could come down further and just relax forward. Good. So I'm going to come out of the pose, but you stay in the pose for a moment. I just wanted to make sure you can hear me. Think about this idea here in your fold that your lungs are more over there on your back. So like your back is sort of facing the sky. See if you can breathe into your back here, like where you feel like your lungs might be. And they're your lungs. So if you, if you speak to them, they'll probably be like, yeah, we're right here. We're your lungs, <laughs> right? Because you know, you know your body. Release down, take a few more breaths. And then nice and slow, roll up, roll up, roll up, all the way, all the way, and then relax. Good. Okay, so that is kind of the end of the movement part of our practice, and the remainder is a meditation. Okay, so well, it's a, it's a meditation like coupled with breathing exercise. So really, the most important part of the posture that you choose is that you're totally comfortable. I was going to suggest that you lay down something like this. Like you could lay on your back and bend your knees. You could also grab mm, like a pillow or a couch cushion and then put it under your knees. This helps to support your back. Okay. And if laying down doesn't feel very accessible to you right now, then you could come just into a comfortable position of any kind. You could lay on your side, you could lay on your belly, or you could just get in like a super comfy on a piece of furniture position. Okay. So I'll give you a moment and you know, it's always okay to get into a position that you think is going to be comfortable and then decide that it's totally not and pick something else. So I'll give you just a few moments. And we're going to do a practice to use the breath to communicate with and heal the body and the mind. So as you are relaxing, coming into your comfortable position, take a moment and start to notice your breath. So notice the breathing as it comes in through the nose and notice the breathing as it goes out. And it's almost like you're watching something that you really want to watch, that you're curious about. And we're going to add here a little bit to our meditation. So as you notice your breath, think of a part of your body that just, you know, needs a little extra attention. So like my left shoulder feels a little sore today from doing work in the garden and also my dog pulls me when we walk so I get interesting sensations in my shoulders so for me if I were you I would be like mm, my left shoulder feels funny today maybe your low back is tight maybe you have something wrong with like your ankle or anything at all right anything at all that just maybe needs a little extra love and attention and if you feel like that you're good with love and attention, you have all of it that you need, that is really wonderful. You could think of just like your family, um, a friend. You could think of um, bringing healing to just your whole body, wherever your body needs it. Okay. So this is the, the words that go with the meditation. I'm going to use the word neck. Um, and you could use the word family, shoulder, ankle, head, anything. And it goes like this. Breathing in, I see my neck. Breathing out, I smile to my neck. Breathing in, I see my neck. Breathing out, I smile to my neck. And so if you're body part was your ankle. Breathing in, I smile to my ankle. Breathing out, I smile to my ankle. 
Maybe you picked your lungs. If you really liked thinking about your lungs today, breathing in, I see my lungs. Breathing out, I smile to my lungs. I'm going to give you about a minute to just do that in quiet without me guiding. And then as you're ready, you could continue with that or you could switch it to say, breathing in, I see my mind. Breathing out, I smile to my mind. Breathing in, I see my mind. Breathing out, I smile to my mind. And continue this just for another moment in quiet. Good. And then as you're ready from here, just releasing that, knowing that anything that we do in any of these practices can be in your toolbox of wellness that you can use them at any time. So as you're ready, you could um, just stay where you are to end our time together. Or if you like kind of sitting up and ending that way, you could do that too. Um, if you feel comfortable placing your hands over your chest, um, bring your hands into this position. Take a moment here. I'd like to just end with a reading called Following the Breath. Breathing in, I calm my body. Breathing out, I smile. Dwelling in the present moment, I know this is a wonderful moment. So, I'll see you again soon. Thank you for practicing breathing part two. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Always feel free to let us know if you have requests for these practices. Bye.